So the belts. Oh, the UFC belts. said I wasn't. Uh, I, I didn't have a title, so I couldn't get in for the Ultimate Fighter. Right when they had the tournament of champions or whatever. And I was trying to figure out. I think maybe I was overqualified. Because as you can see, I have every title that had to do with the East Coast. Still am ranked number one on the East Coast. Has to be five years now. I feel like there's nothing really left for me in the U.S. in general outside of UFC. Sean Shorty Rock Santella uh, from Bud Lake, New Jersey. Nothing starts before the coffee. I would like to be in the UFC for the simple fact that I, I know I belong there and I want to fight the best guys. The problem with the UFC is just because you're the best fighter doesn't always mean you're going to get in. Mama Rock, she's been a big part of my support group and the leader. She's been my mom, my best friend. Uh, sometimes she's been my, my corner person. Hit some bad times with my back and I ended up with surgery a year ago and I thought it was going to make me better and it actually made me worse. It wasn't even a question when, when she had issues and she needed a place, it, you know, as much as I was like, man, there goes everything. <laughs> He's my rock. He's a good son. He's been through everything. I love you too. Bye. Bye. I think I'll get my chance because I feel like I'm loud and they can't keep turning me away. Sorry, sweetheart. I'm just gonna keep beating people up like I've been and keep collecting some hardware. Out of 27 professional fights, I would say at least 15 of them, I wasn't hit one time. So it's like, just because I've been in the game for 10 years, how does that age me? Still in my prime. My striking was never any good and now it's starting to become good. I'm dropping people in fights. I used to never do that. I feel like people haven't even seen the best of me yet. And I think that's gonna be scary. I'm very blessed to have the coaches, teammates that I have. It's great to be with guys like Frankie Edgar, Edson Barbosa, Marlon, Eddie Alvarez, Jim Miller here, he's actually my boss. And I'm training side by side with some of the best guys in the world and these guys are even like, dude, I don't know why you're not in the UFC. I can definitely mix up that division and I can give anybody a hard fight any night, you know, from the number 20 guy all the way up to Demetrius. You know, as a pro, I'm 19 and 6 with a draw, and I have 14 finishes, so it's a high finish rate. That's always my goal when I step into the cage is to finish the fight. Two, nine, nine. Well, my head MMA coach Brian even said he's like, man, you're passing, and your top game has been, you know, through the roof lately. And I owe that to, to Professor Almeida because that's like their style down there. If you look at Frankie and you look at Eddie, dude, they're on top of you, they're grinding, they're gonna force you into a bad position or make a mistake, and that's what they capitalize on. It's not your average story. Usually it's young and up-and-comers are getting signed. When is it that people get in at this age? No one should be counted out or left out, you know? It shouldn't be on age, shouldn't be on anything but I just hope eventually I get my opportunity. I think I've deserved it. Ooh.